Morning all. So, uh, I just arrived at the studio early today. It's 10 a.m., bright and early. Sit off at 7.30, bit of a drive in. So, uh, yeah, but I thought <coughs> I'll just show you what's going on gear-wise in the studio. So I have, please excuse the hoovering. Um, I'm in the room. I've got this, um, my, my Alan Seeley Deluxe Reverb. It's got the old uh, <coughs> two mic thing. It's got a Bayer M160, which is pretty cool, and the SM57. And then have my uh, board here <coughs> with all the major things that are needed. To be honest, on this session so far, I've been using this a hell of a lot. The old MXR Phase 90 Van Halen model. I don't know. I don't know anything about it, but I've been using that quite a bit. That was an extreme setting. Uh, Noble's got a bit of use yesterday. Uh, that's moved on the board a bit. What's going on there? There you go. Uh, my dual lock didn't work very well. It's moved. I'm going to put that back on. Yeah, I used that yesterday. I'll do a video uh, with everything on this. I'll do a little rundown video at some point. Got the Roger Mayer Uni vibe with the miss, uh, Voodoo vibe, sorry, with the uh, missing knobs. EQ pedal, the Vertex Boost, Cornerstone Gladio, which is a great pedal. Um, not had much use on this yet. BOD Friedman, um, 96 HX Effects, which I got a bit of use yesterday. A little bit of um, auto filter used yesterday. The old trusty timeline and the flint. The flint is on a hell of a lot. So, but yeah, <clears throat> I mean, as you can see, I'm sitting right here. I've got a sight line with the drums. <clears throat> the amp is encased to stop stop the spill. I'm not on very loud, as you can see. The volume on the amp is sort of about one to two. Uh, it's sort of between two and three. <clears throat> Yeah, we just sort of, and then Mr. PT, Paul Turner is right next to me there. Matt's kind of situated over there in keyboard land. And then Derek, yeah, always like to have a, this is my sight line from where I'm sitting. Sorry, I don't want to get too Blair Witch on you and move around, make you throw up. But um, this is where I'm sat, so I can see Derek. Being a left-handed drummer, I can see Derek, so... Uh, Always like as my old Q mix there with a, with a crackly pot, as you can hear, <laughs> uh, and then a collection of guitars. Got my old 335, my uh, DGT, the, uh, the guitar that I can't really talk about yet. I've got my Patrick Eggle telly there, my old Jaguar, flat rounds on it. And my trusty old thin line, um, <clears throat> which I've had a very long time. So yeah, that's a quick video. But yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's always useful to have sight lines with a drummer, and it's nice to be in the room. If my fingers in the way, probably great to be in the room playing with the chaps again. But yeah. Just a very quick video if anyone's interested to see my gear. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll see you soon.